More with the response from Adam. District Court Chief Judge Francis Tiding Gatewood isn't too pleased with the government of Guam's attorneys and the order consent decree case. We're pleased because the, the judge has been consistent in her rulings as far as making sure there's no conflict in attorneys representing both the receiver and the government. In an order issued Monday, the chief judge makes it clear that allowing a full substitution of counsel for the government of Guam has resulted in a three-month delay and could cost the government millions of dollars more. The governor's deputy press secretary, Phil Young Guerrero, responds. Now, uh, we're not going to apologize for representing the interests of the people of Guam because that's our job. Um, and we're, we're very proud of that. Judge Tiding Kogate would further question the reasonableness of attorneys Roland Matinonia and Sandra Miller's refusal to assist in various matters and participate in discussions with the receiver Gershman Brickner and Bratton. She went on to say the lack of action by the legal team was found to be unacceptable, saying their actions appear to obstruct, delay, and thwart the receiver's efforts and those of the board. Young Girl instead says if there's any delay, it's at the result of the receiver not having its own legal counsel, adding he doesn't believe it's unreasonable to hold attorneys to their ethical standard. So really what we're saying is that it, it's not unreasonable to have the, this Tennessee company who has its own interests uh, hire someone to represent its own interests. It, it, would, it would really be unethical to have the legal counsel for the government and the people of Guam also representing this Tennessee firm who is responsible for costing the people of Guam hundreds of millions of dollars. As for additional projects that are required by the government for the ORDOT dump closure, the court noted that the receiver would have to utilize money that is normally paid to the government each year for debt service to complete those projects. Young Guerrero says the governor's attorneys work for the people of Guam and not the federal and, uh, receiver. You know, we're going to continue to represent the people of Guam and anytime this Tennessee law firm uh, does something that really isn't in the best interest of the people of Guam, then um, every Guamanian can rest assured that there's going to be a check and balance and it's going to be here from the governor's office. As for what's next, Young Guerrero says the governor's office will continue to follow the case to ensure that the ORDOT dump is closed in a reasonable manner, which includes pursuing the federal government. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.